I'm not even a stand-up comedian, okay? I'll just get it right. I am not up on the stage by choice. No, I am not up on stage by choice. I mean, circumstances have forced me up on the stage. Uh, uh, I, I make websites for my living. That's funny enough. And my job is under threat by the app market. Uh, no one wants websites. Everyone wants apps. And I think apps were like, they, these things started off with what? Initially, we had what, apps to send emails, chats, right? Then e-commerce players came in, and they want apps to deliver things. Oh, you have hyper-local delivery, right? You, you want uh, dinner, you'll press something on the app, and the food will come to you. Right? Uh, and, and all these startups have started shutting down their websites. Uh, now, what, any, any startup founder here who can cheer me up? Oh, someone still has their website. I'm not being hired by you guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. So I am a little depressed. Uh, I don't think my future is too bright. Uh, 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 and I tried to look for an alternate career. Uh, not, not really. So, uh, you know, this app market has actually, I, I went into research. I like, what can I actually take up? If, if app market has come in, apps have come in, and my job is going away, there has to be some new job that is created, right? And w once I looked into it, I realized that with the app, with people coming and delivering things here at home, I mean, future is, I think, a few in very close... Uh, very soon we'll have apps for a person coming to your home and picking your nose because you're too lazy to do that as well, right? But uh, uh, but the thing, uh, the the two job career uh, options that have risen out of apps is one is delivery boys, right? You need delivery boys to come and give you things. The other is you guys have too much time now, right? So you need entertainers. So my Decision basically boiled down to deciding between either climbing up and down stairs or being paid in sandwiches. And, uh, and a person of my waistline, you know what would he would have chosen, right? Stairs is, I cannot do, go up four floors, come down three floors, then there's another call, go up two floors, I cannot do that, so I decided to just give this a shot. Right? So I'm doing this almost pretty much from the time. I have not done this before. So just cheer me up, guys. Yeah. Woo! Thanks. So too much code has been happening today. I am sure you don't want to think about code. And I thought, let, let's just talk about buses. Right? You know, I, I mean, if I'm going to lose my job, I might as well start choosing buses. Anyone? Buses here? Some people, like about 10% people raise their hands. Can I have a cheer for them? Right? They are like the few people who have discovered the second use of buses. Like the first one, obviously, you know, like those are large objects used for uh, protests. Right? So, I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a Bengali. I know that you can use bus for an impactful agitation. And, and this really united, unites us as a nation. Like north to south, east to west, there's not a single impactful agitation where a bus hasn't been torched. Right, but then uh, there are. I mean, I like buses. Uh, not, 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 not to light them up, but uh, uh, to board them. Because uh, if I go to a new city, I think I, I really get to uh, understand uh, the people, people who are living there up close and personal in a bus. Right? Really, you get you get to know everything about what is the average. Uh, public opinion on politics, what are the average things that are uh, keeping them busy, what are the average problems they are facing in their lives, what's the average smell of their armpits, everything you find out when you are in a tight bus, right? But uh, in Bangalore, I very recently discovered BMTC, you know BMTC, right? It's profitable. My first reaction was that, is that even legal? I mean, startups are not profitable these days. How is a public transport agency profitable? 
it it made no sense to me because i come from delhi all right uh, in delhi i'm really uh, proud of the fact that dtc is making losses every single day i mean really i mean i think i think they are winging it with the the government every single time they'll go to the government like look we are doing a minus 15% profit year on year and and i think the government is just being like, oh profit they don't answer oh minus they're just winging that and uh, now uh, about my leg we'll talk about that later this is boarding buses with this is not a very uh, a uh, good thing to do i have been re really fumbling around inside buses with this but uh, coming back to my thing that uh, uh, in delhi uh, uh, dtc is not making profits uh, uh, because in delhi you really don't need to buy tickets uh, you just need to know how to escape without buying tickets right so i was with a group of friends i i i was i was the only guy i mean firstly dtc is really making it helpful for us in 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 dtc the conductor sits at a designated spot and if you want to buy a ticket you try to go through 500 people to the conductor and ask for it you take the ticket i i was the i was the only person who the ticket and uh, the only way you can be caught without a ticket is there something called there are ticket checkers to check whether you have a ticket or not huh they call it the flying squad and those folks are basically who are about to retire in a couple of years right they they'll be waiting at the bus stop and wh while you're getting off the bus they'll ask for your ticket so i was uh, with my group of friends in the bus and and we suddenly spot spotted the flying squad car at the next bus stop and my friends are like okay we don't have the ticket you have got it give it to me and i'm like no but i got the ticket so that i can escape it he's like don't worry we'll make you escape it and he snatched the ticket from me and the next thing that they do is the moment the bus opens the guy with the ticket just runs runs from the flying squad he runs about 50 meters huh and the guy and and, and the and the poor old fellow just catches uh, catches him and asks him where is your ticket and he just promptly shows the ticket to him the guy's like why did you run He's like, where does the ticket say you can't run after buying it? <laughs> and I don't have to tell you what we did, right? We were not there in the bus anymore. By the time those that guy that distracted him. But uh, in uh, in like coming back to BMTC, BMTC being profitable, I I think that is uh, uh, that doesn't make much sense uh, because uh, uh, so I I think it's a scam, and I thought that I'll uncover it. So over the last months, I've been taking the uh bmtc buses a lot and i've figured out and i've concluded that bmtc is profitable by something what i call as keeping the change i tell you what happens it's a very simple thing like you are in the bus you don't know much you're there and this this ticket fellow will come tickets Come to, the first thing that my reaction is as a delegate is run but then second thought is i have to do my research right how is this profitable so i stand there he is and i said bhaiya uh, uh, richmond road jana hai we we'll go 17 rupees so i take out my purse i took a, i took out a 50 rupee note and i gave it to him and he looks straight in my eyes and says 7 rupees change kodi and his look was so convincing that i thought i was at the wrong side because if you think of it 7 rupees change isn't 3 rupees supposed to be the change so uh, and i i I'm, i'm i'm like sorry sir uh, i just shake my head and that guy gives me a smile he's like senses and opportunities like this is the answer i've been waiting for the last 300 milliseconds <laughs> and the next thing that he does completely throws me off okay what he does is takes my 50 bucks takes his bag puts the 50 bucks inside and then shakes it twice and you can hear the 3000 coins in his bag <laughs> 
and he takes out 30 rupees and gives me 30 rupees back and i say sir 3 rupees and he's like ah holding holding is gone and i'm holding on to the ticket that okay i'm going to ask for this 3 rupees later right i'm still doing my ride i'm still figuring out i'm uh, i'm figuring out i'm just up close and personal as i said i figured out that right now the average problem that bangaloreans are facing is that their teammate has got uh, a on site opportunity before them and i'm still doing my ride and suddenly my bus stop comes and in the flow of things i get down and then i look at the ticket and i yo i've been robbed 20 extra and i think this is how bmtc is profitable right now and i have never uh, i mean i've never experienced in delhi right no tickets you don't have to really take one i i've got one more small story do you want to listen to it uh yes okay so uh, in uh, if you're in delhi uh, i would really recommend you to uh, sit next to the conductors the conductors have a seat and there's a seat next to it and just those those guys are really sincere people they really uh, do the, their job well they're not expected to uh, like really uh, keep a check on whether you have a ticket or not but uh, if you if you're in delhi and if you if you take a daily pass right if you uh, the the daily pass system in delhi works like this uh the guy has to ask your name and your age and he'll put that down on the pass and while giving it to you just to make sure that you're not giving your pass to someone else so this guy who's like a pretty young looking guy huh, he comes comes to the ticket conductor i'm sitting next to the conductor and the, the guy so, said uh ek pass dena and the guy says okay tell your name he tells his name vikram right umar he's like 32 32 is 32 and he didn't write it he just looked back he that guy looks too younger and this guy wants to do, do his job very sincerely he has to check his age apne liye hi le rahe ho that guy goes like yes it's for me he's not convinced that that guy is 32 shaadi ho gayi hai now this guy is like i think there's something about uh people in india they are really proud of the fact that they are married probably once they are married i don't know but this guy is very happy yes like he's now he's also in the mode of proving that he is 32 yes next question is flat out kitne bachche hai he goes do hai fit he can he makes the pass and gives it to him that's all i have guys <laughs> thanks thanks a lot uh, for listening to me uh uh before i get down i have a small appeal to make uh, i am uh, i am uh, running the airtel delhi marathon uh, half marathon uh, in a uh, couple of months and i am raising funds for uh, doctors without borders if any of you are interested in donating to doctors without borders please catch hold of me i am in i am the guy with a big mustache on my t-shirt right thanks thanks a lot